Hi, this is Rick, and in this section, we're going to be looking at creating a user for inbound. So, um, let's create a user. So, under the VCDAO administration, so we have here our users that we created, the administration user and the test user that was assigned to an outbound campaign. So, um, let's go ahead and create one now. For the inbound, remember that we have to have the in groups or the user groups. I'm sorry, so you know you can control where the agents are going. So let's just add real quickly a user group, and we're going to call it inbound right. inbound agents. Now, on the inbound agent, we're going to make sure that they can log into the inbound campaign and they're allowed to look at the inbound agents and let's give them all the reports okay so let's go add a new user and we're going to have user 6001 password will be password full name is test inbound user level one the user group we're going to have them in the inbound agents 6001 and password submit okay now for the inbound agent the big difference is, is this, this right here do we want them to choose the in-groups now they're going to be working multiple campaigns and each campaign has got separate in-groups that they answer then yes if not then no uh, whatever in-groups we will select them below uh, do they get to choose blended no we want them to schedule callbacks yes have their only callbacks yes manual call yes and most important they are default blended so that means that they will take inbound calls uh, let's always make sure that the agent API access works and that's for the callback tools alright once we submit it we go back in and now we see the in-group selection so I want this agent just for purposes he's going to be able to log into a sales or a service and the callback so what that means is that this agent 6001 has now been assigned to the sales in group, to the customer service in group, and to the tech callback number. Submit, and we have created an inbound user.